We've now made it to Lesson 14C, and we're doing operations with measurements, and that means we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing measurements. If you missed 14A and B, you can just click on the description to see them. When we add, subtract, multiply, or divide measurements, they need to be in the same units. We convert them to like units, set up the problem, and we reduce. To add or subtract, stacking the problem vertically will help us. If it's written in sentence form like 3 and 1 fourth feet plus 1 foot 10 inches, we can stack them 3 feet, 3 inches. There's 12 inches in a foot, so a fourth of a foot would be 3 inches. So we had to convert that first, didn't we? So we have 3 feet, 3 inches, and we're, taking, we're going to add 1 foot 10 inches. What we do is we add the inches together and get a total, and then we add the feet together and get a total, then we convert it to the other units and do the regrouping last. In 13 inches, we can pull out a 12 inches as one foot and give it to the feet side. So that means we have five feet, one inch, see? So do all the adding for that unit first and that unit, then we regroup, okay? When subtracting measurements, we might need to regroup them first. You know, borrow from a larger unit. If we have six yards and one foot and we need to take away one yard two feet, we can't take the two feet from the one foot, so we need to borrow from the yards. This is going to become a five yards, and we're going to give, there's three feet in a yard, we're going to give three feet to that one foot. Now it's four feet. Now we can subtract, and we get four yards and two feet. See? You can also look at it this way, and just cross that out, make it a five, cross that out, make it a four, and... Do our subtraction, see? To multiply or divide, we might need to convert the units and reduce, reduce the answer. If we have six pieces of wire that are each three feet four inches long, what's the total length of wire? So we need to do three feet four inches times six, because there's six pieces. We do them separately. Six times four is 24 inches. See how I didn't regroup? I just did six times four is 24 inches and wrote the answer right down here. Then I do 6 times 3 feet, which is 18 feet, and I have 18 feet 24 inches. Well, 24 inches is 2 feet. So we can convert this to feet and say we have 20 feet. See? So when multiplying, you just do that amount and write that amount. We don't regroup. See? We just multiply and write the amount down here, and we regroup last. Okay? When we divide, we convert to the smaller unit of measure. So Tala has a piece of fabric that's 15 feet 6 inches long, and she cuts it into three equal pieces. How long will each piece be? We can convert the feet to inches. So the 15 feet 6 inches is going to end up being 186 inches. See? We do 15 times 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot. We have 15 of them. That's going to give us 180. Then we add the 6 inches to it, and we have 186. Now we can split the 186 inches into three equal parts, and it'll come out to 62 inches each. We could change that back to feet by dividing it by 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot. And how many 12s are in here? We would get 5 feet, 2 inches. See? It takes Bob one and a half minutes to solve a math problem. How many problems can he solve in 15 minutes? Well, one and a half minutes is equal to 1 minute and 30 seconds. That's 60 seconds plus 30 seconds, isn't it? That's 90 seconds. So even though the word seconds wasn't in here, we can convert all of these to seconds. So we know a minute and a half is 90 seconds. That means it takes him 90 seconds to solve a math problem. We find out how many seconds are in minutes. These 15 minutes times 60 seconds will give us 900 seconds. We can split this up by this 90 seconds, divide it by the 90 seconds, 900, 900 seconds divided by 90 seconds is 10. So that means he can do 10 math problems in 15 minutes. See? You could also do 15 divided by 1.5. You could have done that, right? All right. Tala buys three yards of fabric to make a dinosaur costume. She uses two yards, one foot, and five inches. How many does she have left over? So she had a straight three yards. No feet, no inches. It was just three yards. So zero feet, zero inches. We can regroup and take one of the yards 
turn it into two yards, and then give it to the feet as three feet. Then we can take a foot from the feet and give it to the inches as 12 inches. See? Then 12 minus 5 is 7, and 2 minus 1 is 1. We have 1 foot 7 inches left over. If you want to look at it as a smaller version of the problem without having to write it out like that, we took a yard away. It became a 2. We gave the 3 feet to the feet area. We took 1 away and gave 12 inches to the inches and then did our subtraction. See? This one says subtract 15 minutes 20 seconds from a half hour. Well, a half hour is 30 minutes, right? So that means we have 30 minutes and we want to take away 15 minutes 20 seconds. We can change the 30 minutes to 29 minutes and give 60 seconds to the seconds side. Now we can get 40 seconds when we subtract and 29 take away 15 is 14. So we have 14 minutes and 40 seconds left over. See? So now you should be ready to do that skill focus on page 167, but it's really important. You cannot use a calculator for this skill focus. It says do it without a calculator. And do you know why? Because you're going to have problems similar to these on the GED test, and you're not going to be allowed to use a calculator. So you need to test yourself now to see if you can do it the GED way. Okay? You use a calculator, you're just going to cheat yourself and hurt yourself when you actually take the test because you're going to say, oh, I never did this without a calculator. I'm stuck. So try getting that practice in without the calculator now like it's asking you to. Okay? Our next video, we're going to actually move to the metric system. Lesson 14D. And these four videos, we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of measurements. There's going to be links to these four really good videos in this description, okay? And there'll be links to these grade school ones too, but these are the good ones. These are the ones you want to watch if you're still confused, all right? And I'll have links to the uh, previous videos for GED math, the 14A and 14B, okay? We talked about customary measurements, all right? So we're going to move on to the metric system. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. I really hope you watch the videos from the measurement playlist 11, 12, 13, and 14 if you're having trouble because they're really good. And I'll see you next video. We'll do metric. All right? Have a great day. Bye.